All right, so in here we get uh, we get a bathroom with many helpful items like an F H spray. Can't remember if I explained this, but F H sprays uh they fully heal you, but if you use them, it'll affect your end rank, which I don't really care about, so I'm going to be using them anyway. But yeah, this is why we have the lighter. These bats in here. Now, for some reason, they don't attack you if you have the lighter equipped, but without the lighter equipped, yeah, they're going to be attacking you and uh, taking away your health. Which means a section a little bit later on in the game, we're going to have to do that in kind of a particular order even though we don't have to so we can get past some bats with the lighter in our in inventory so yeah <clears throat> so I might mess that up because I have done that out of order before now and had to deal with bats without the lighter and that can be kind of annoying hang on what do I want to do here yeah I want to be going this way because I want to be doing more storyline stuff Storyline stuff for the win. I think we're gonna get like a really creepy cutscene over here pretty soon. Anyway, I should go into some Resident Evil history. I haven't really done that. So uh, the first Resident Evil game I ever did play was Remake, uh, which I played as a kid. Um, I believe it was my older brother's copy. It wasn't actually my game that I owned. So, um. Because that game had two scenarios, basically, me and my older brother, we chose to play as different scenarios so we could get the full story, I guess. So, since he got the first choice of character, he went with Chris Redfield, which left me with Jill Valentine. And, well, that was always the case with our video games with me and my older brother growing up. Since he was the older brother, he always got to choose the character first. I know there's a zombie down here. I know there's a zombie down here. I can hear him, he just doesn't want to make an appearance. Yeah, that was always the case with me and my older brother growing up. I'd always uh, have the second choice of character in video games and a lot of the time the secondary character was a female character so... Um, nowadays when I play video games I guess I do tend to play quite a lot of video games as female video, video game characters for that reason. Maybe. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Combine. So yeah, that was the first Resident Evil game I ever played. Um, I actually haven't played two or three, but I plan on getting those two soon because they both seem like fun games to play. A gold crest is carved on it. Uh, Resident Evil 2 would be Leon S. Kennedy and Claire Redfield. And Resident Evil 3 would be Jill Valentine and Nemesis. I think um, I want to play 3 more than I want to play 2 though. That just seems like more fun. To uh, constantly have that guy chasing after you, the Nemesis. If you've never seen that game, go watch a Let's Play of it. Because a game that just looks awesome. A dual model after an ant is displayed here. There's a button below. Push the button. I will push the button. Oh, we get... We get a movie. I'm okay with this. Yeah, this cutscene's a little disturbing, by the way, just to warn you. And he's pulling wings off a dragonfly. Now, I hear that's the first sign of a serial killer. I don't know if that's true, but... I think I hear that from Family Guy. Killing insects is the first sign of a serial killer. Now you may not think it, this is actually somewhat vital to the storyline what's happening here. <laughs> it may just seem like kind of random. And they seem a little close. A little too close for my liking. They are brother and sister after all. Should be fighting and squabbling like a real brother and sister. Alright, so we got this down here. And we get a steering wheel. Random objects for the win. Any ideas what this is for? 
A pair of gold lugas are displayed here. Take them. Yes, we shall take them. Um, we don't have inventory space. But yeah, you should remember where those go. So we have to f uh, basically come back and get them at some other point. Can't get them now because I have no inventory space. And that is never a good thing. So, 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 so. Trying to think of what I want to do next. Because, yeah, there's just, like, so much we can do right now. I don't know. I'm just going to head out this door. Yeah! Help me! Oh, any guesses for who that is? Steve? It's this guy. Yeah, um, I kind of wanted to pick up those gold dugas because I wanted to show you what would happen if you did pick up them gold dugas, but because we didn't do that, this is not going to make any sense right now because how would you know where this alarm would be coming from? It's not that door. It's this door down here. Yeah, um, if you do actually pick up those gold dugas, this will make a whole lot more sense where you would know where to go, but... Yeah. Steve is suffering. There's a message on the control panel. When two pairs complete, my anger will subside. Operate it. Alright, so when two pairs are complete, we're basically choosing the two guns, and it's as simple as that. Huh. Huh. That was too close. But I found something, thanks to you. And uh, those will be the guns that we need. Looks cool, huh? Oh, I need those. Give them to me. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. I found it, and I'm keeping it. Selfish. Fine. Let's make a deal. I'll trade you for something fully automatic. You want my car? You can't have my car. Claire's thinking about this very seriously. See you around, Claire. Adios. Bye, douchebag. Hey, wait! Stay! <laughs> Yeah, we could have left them in that room a little bit longer. Yeah, I should explain. Uh, the faster you do this little puzzle right here, um, basically, uh, the amount of time you take to do that puzzle, that cutscene will change. So, um, if you leave him in there for a very long time, I don't think he actually dies, but if you leave him in there for a very long time, uh, he'll kind of collapse when he gets out to that room. So... Yeah, you can get a few different cutscenes from doing that. Like, first time I played the game, I didn't know what... Oh, completely forgot about this cutscene. Right here. Oh, we got this dude. We got this dude. Seems to know who we are. What are you talking about? You let yourself be captured so you can lead your people to this base. Damn it, he's got sussed. I have no idea what you're babbling about. You don't fool me. I am Alfred Ashford. Who now? Commander of this base. Oh? You must be one of Umbrella's lower level officers if you're in command of a backwater base like this one. <laughs> Claire Redfield's cockiness oh, is showing. You. The Ashford family is among the world's first and finest. My grandfather is one of the original founders of Umbrella Inc. Oh, really? He's kind of staring at his hands. Kind of weird. Now tell me, why have you attacked this installation? Attacked? Shortly after you arrived, my base was attacked. You must have informed your people of its location. I still don't follow you. I really don't know anything about that. Unacceptable. How can you deny it? My base has been destroyed. And thanks to you, the experimental T-Virus was released, creating countless zombies and monsters. Tell me, who do you work for? Who sent you? 
<laughs> Have it your way, then. You're just a rat in a cage anyway. I'll be sure to keep you entertained before I dispose of you. <laughs> Suspicious laughter. <laughs> Look at the seriousness on Claire's face. Who is that dude anyway? He's kind of random and fun. Um, yeah, I think we'll head up to the safe room right now. Deposit some items, cause yeah, I think we're pretty much full. Yeah, I was just faking you out, by the way, when I was going to the door, cause I knew we'd get stopped and there'd be a cutscene. It was my full intention to uh, head up to the safe room first. So, I don't know if I want to stop right now, if I want to keep on going, because... Um, I don't know. There's just like one section that we have to do uh, before moving on to the next, so I think I want to go get that done. Maybe. Yeah, I'll keep one healing item. I like to keep one healing item on me at all times, because... You know, you never know what you're going to run into. Even though I do know this game really well, so... I don't know. Kind of wishing I did save right there. Oh, you know what, you know what, you know what? I'm going to take the bowgun with me. Because, you know what? This bowgun is only useful up to a certain point, so... Oh, no, wait. Yeah, yeah. I believe there's zombies are plentiful all the way through this game actually. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh crap, I'm <laughs> This is the problem with Resident Evil because we got the bow gun now and we got the bow gun bolts. We only got so much limited inventory space. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do, actually. My god.